and my faithful companion, Piglet. And today we're going to talk about and look at the vertebrate fauna from the Amole Arcos. And so far, uh, the vertebrate fauna consists of, of a number of rather nice fossil fishes and one dinosaur. And what we're going to look at today is that one dinosaur. Excuse me, Piglet. Here we see uh, some of the remains of that dinosaur. And what we're looking at right now is what technically we might call a knee. So on my right side, we have the distal or distant part of the femur, this bone here, so right here. And on my left side, right here, we have the proximal or near side of the tibia and fibula. So these two go together. I try to get them in anatomical position, but they're very, very heavy and not very stable. And so I thought it was wisest just to give up. So it's a knee and looking in detail, at the femur, we see it has a groove back here where the flexor muscle uh, of uh, that bends the leg goes. And uh, in the front, we have a tunnel or a totally enclosed groove, if you will, where the extensor or the, the uh, muscle and tendon that straightens the leg goes. And when it's totally enclosed like here, when the bone comes around and closes it off, uh, sometimes it's called a closed groove, you might think of it as a tunnel. That's a characteristic of a hadrosaur or a duck-billed dinosaur. So uh, not every duck-billed dinosaur has that, but it seems to be unique to the hadrosaurs. So we can say with some confidence that it is a hadrosaur, and looking at just the size, it's a bigger than average hadrosaur. Uh, and uh, so that is what is known uh, dinosaur-wise from the Amole Arcos. So for me and Piglet today, thank you and uh, have a great day.